So how does the magician rise up off the roof and float through the sky like a superhero? The secret may come as a bit of a surprise, so I'll let you down easy. He doesn't have superpowers. He's not even in control of his own flight path. The man in charge is right here, sitting in the cab of a 50-foot crane. Dangling from the top of this crane is a set of very thin aircraft cables, the same kind used to make Peter Pan fly on Broadway and in theaters across the country and around the world. Concealed beneath the magician's jacket is a specially designed harness that has been used on stage for decades. Before the trick begins, the crane operator lowers the cables down to the stagehands who attach them securely to the harness. Once they're double and triple checked, the magician is ready to fly with the greatest of ease. But why don't we see the cables suspending in the air? The secret is the bright sky. Remember I said he wanted to show you his power in broad daylight and that there were no visible wires? That's because the glare from the bright sun and sky makes the wires impossible for the cameras and even the human eye to detect. From the proper angle, the brightness of the sky blocks the cables, making them invisible. From this angle, you can see that the camera can pick up the wires, shattering the illusion. While demonstrating his supposedly magical abilities, we saw the magician alter his flight pattern with nothing above or near him. The secret here involves moving the crane. In between shots of the magician in the air, the crane was repositioned to allow the operator the freedom to fly the magician in different directions. Clever editing of the various angles makes it look like he's flying around the parking lot. The most difficult part of this trick is lowering the magician to a soft landing. We just saw the mass magician attempt a feat that has been written about for more than 2,000 years, walking on water. And he did it in a pool surrounded by spectators and his beautiful assistants. So how did the magician create the illusion of walking on water? The secret lies within this industrial grade clear plexiglass. The plexi is mounted on clear plexiglass legs. When it is submerged in the water and photographed from the correct angles, the plexiglass is invisible and impossible to detect. But as the camera angle changes, the plexiglass becomes visible. The next secret is that the assistants and innocent spectators in the pool have been paid to act like they can't see the plexiglass platforms. The platforms in this illusion have been constructed in various size planks and are supported by the clear legs that reach the bottom of the pool. The platforms are long and narrow and are best seen from low angles. The platforms are hard to see from the sides, so the camera angles are carefully chosen and plotted out to make the trick believable. One of the platforms is built extra wide and used for the camera angles looking straight down into the pool. It's wide, so that the edges of the plank which are hardest to disguise are always just outside of camera range. Here it is again from a wider angle where you can see the edges. Now they're raised slightly above the surface, so you can see the gaps in between that the magician simply steps across. The gaps give room for the paid spectators to swim in between, disguising the submerged plexiglass legs and drawing attention away from the edges of the planks. They further convince the audience that there is nothing suspicious in the water. Notice how the assistants and spectators are splashing and making waves? The moving water also helps to draw attention away from the deception. When the water in the pool is moving, it's much more difficult to see the platforms. Walking on water. Not so miraculous when you know the secrets.